Hey guys, it's Aaron over BHA here bringing you a new product review video. The great folks over at Zoos sent me some sweet new products. Both of them are Z-Wave sensors. The one we're going to review today is the Zoos 4-in-1 Z-Wave sensor. It's an indoor sensor and it's pretty sweet. It covers motion, uh, humidity, temperature, and light. So let's check it out. All right, so Zoos has been doing Z-Way products for quite a while. In fact, I've bought several different switches from them in the past, and they work great. This is the first time I've had a chance to play with any of their Z-Way sensors, but I'm definitely excited about it. As far as I can tell, it's going to pair really well with my SmartThings hub. That's how I handle all of my Z-Way products currently, and it also makes it very easy to get them added into Home Assistant with the SmartThings integration. Let's do a quick run through of everything we're going to cover in this video. So, of course, for starters, we'll go ahead and go through the unboxing of the device. Uh, once we do that, before I get it mounted on the wall or anything, I'm going to go ahead and add it into SmartThings. Once we have it added and recognized by SmartThings, then we're going to mount the sensor on the wall. Once we do all that, we're going to look through all the advanced features of the sensor. After we do that, we'll get it added into Home Assistant. And lastly, of course, we'll just kind of run through and show you what that looks like in action. So let's get started. All right, so uh, here we are. Here, This is the 4-in-1 sensor. Box is pretty clean looking. Uh, as you can see, it lists some of the uh, hubs and stuff that it uh, is compatible with. And like I already said, it covers motion, light, temperature, and humidity. So let's go ahead and get this open here. Right out of the box, you have the instructions that show you how to get it added to your Z-Wave uh, hub. as well as the battery and some various mounts depending on where you want to mount it on your wall or ceiling. It's a pretty decent size, uh, it fits in the palm of my hand, but uh, it's pretty slick looking, pretty standard uh, design as far as uh, motion sensors go. It uses a single CR123A uh, for battery power, which gives it a pretty uh, decent uh, lifespan. Uh, that's pretty much it for unboxing uh, the device. Let's go ahead and move on to the next step. So here is the uh, main instructions uh, for adding it into SmartThings. Uh, now you're going to want to use the Zoos custom device handler uh, for SmartThings. That way you will be able to access all the advanced settings and configurations you can do uh, with that custom device handler. So we're going to walk through that here. So for first things first, we need to uh, click on the link and get our custom device handler. And I'll have all these in the description below so that you can just copy and paste it. But we're basically going to highlight all this here copy it, and then we need to go into our SmartThings IDE, log in, and we'll go ahead and go to the section on device handlers and create a new uh, device handler by code. We'll paste that in here and go ahead and uh, save it. And of course you wanna make sure you publish it. All right, so to put this thing in pairing mode, we need to uh, use a paper clip or a thumbtack or something to push the little button here down at the bottom two times to get it into pairing mode. You can't really see how many times I push it here. Uh, push it twice, that will it will start blinking and it'll be in pairing mode and smart things will be able to discover it. Give it a second here.
can see it came in. Go ahead and change the name to a kitchen sensor. That's the plan of where I'm going to put it. And that's it. You can see all the stuff listed there. You got our humidity, uh, temperature, motion, of course, is the default there at the top. You got your battery level, uh, light sensor. Um, there's even a tamper sensor to tell whether or not the, uh, the lid has been opened. Pretty cool. Let's go ahead and move on to the next step. All right, so installing this sensor is super easy, at least in the direction that I decided to go. So since I'm putting it in my kitchen, I want it to go kind of in the corner so it'll cover the most range that way. And the easy way to do that is to use the provided double stick tape, put one little piece on each side, as you can see here. And then of course, here it is mounted in the corner of my kitchen dining area there up at the top. Should cover the room fairly well, I think. But that's it. Stuck it to the wall. And then when it comes time to remove the battery, you can uh, pop the front end off of it, change the battery without actually having to unstick it from the wall or anything, which makes it super awesome. Let's go ahead and move on to the next step. All right, so to access the advanced features, you basically hit the little... Uh, gear settings gear at the top there and as you can see you can go through here there's all kinds of information that you can modify you can change the primary status if you want the secondary status uh, and then of course whatever settings you want as far as if you're celsius or fahrenheit and the different uh, response times on all the different sensors so pretty sweet lots of cool features there there's even a debug logging uh, setting down there at the bottom I'm going to go ahead and change the sensitivity of the motion sensor because I want to make sure it covers the entire area of the room pretty well. So I want it to be fairly sensitive. But that's pretty much it. We go ahead and save it there at the top and we are ready to go. All right, now as far as adding this into Home Assistant, there's not a whole lot you really have to do. Give SmartThings integration in Home Assistant a chance to update, and it'll automatically pull that device in, and you don't have to do anything else. So as you can see here, there's my kitchen sensor, and all the sensors are already added and shown information and everything. That looks great. Now I can just add them to a levels card if I want, or I can even set them up in automations and uh, perform tasks that way as well. That's it for adding it into Home Assistant. Super easy. All right, lastly, I really just kind of wanted to test the motion uh, response time and see how well it worked. Uh, I didn't have an easy way to do that, but I pulled up the SmartThings app on one side, uh, Home Assistant on the next side, and I'm just gonna kind of walk around my kitchen and see if the sensor kicks on or not. And as you can see, almost as soon as I walk in there, motion is detected on both immediately, so the response time is really great. That's exactly what I wanted. Uh, as for the other sensors, it's not an easy way for me to show you how well they work, but I thought I would just kind of go through them in Home Assistant and show you uh, historically that they have been updating and changing uh, over the course of the day. So they work pretty well. But that's pretty much it, guys, for this sensor. It is pretty sweet so far. I really like Zoo's Z-Wave products. I think they have... Uh, done a very good job with setting everything up. Like I said, I have several of their switches already in my house and they work great. If you haven't had a chance to check out their website, I'll have it in the description below. You definitely want to check it out. Let's do a quick run through of everything we covered in this video. So of course we started out by unboxing the device. Uh, once we did that, we added it into SmartThings. Uh, once that was done, then of course we mounted our sensor on the wall. After that, we went through all the advanced features that they had uh, using the custom device handler and smart things. I showed you what it looked like adding it into Home Assistant. And lastly, we just kind of checked it out in action. 
that's it guys again zoos great products check out their website i'll have it in the description below uh, they have some of their stuff for sale on Amazon as well, but you honestly get a better deal if you get it straight from uh, thesmartesthouse.com. And I'll have a link for their site in the description below as well. As always, I want to thank everybody uh, that has donated to buy, buy me a coffee link. Every little bit helps. Again, check out my Teespring merchandise uh, page for all your Vern's Home Automation merchandise. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. As always, if there are any videos out there that you would like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well, and I'll see if I can't get some put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around. Thanks.